Good morning. This really is quite a quick video. I realise we don't even have an arrow boat yet, but I'm starting to build stuff. So we're here in the workshop and I'm just trying to gather a bit of the uh, stuff we've been doing so that later on I'm not trying to film things upside down under the bed where this eventually goes. So we're going to fit a lithium pack and I'm trying to build up an electrical panel for the lithium batteries and the solar charging that are moving from the engine bay to underneath the bed. Now at this point it is the 13th of August, I've got one week to go till the boat's even surveyed. So we don't even own the boat at the moment but we're hoping everything goes ahead and this is what's going to go in any narrow boat if we don't buy this one. I just really hope that if we don't go through with this one the next one hasn't already got it fitted, but I doubt it. So I'll give you a quick run through of what we've done. As I say I'm here in the office at the moment so this is all a bit handheld. So toys, more toys and this. So what we have here is very similar to what was set up by Journey with Jono which I will link in the uh, description down below because his work has been invaluable and I have referenced it a lot of times. So I don't want anyone to think that uh, this is all unique and I'm the only person to do this. He was there long before I was. So what we have is, these are brilliant by the way, that is a Dymo label maker that actually makes heat shrink that you can see on some of these. I will go through a, another video probably with the stuff that was used. So we're going to have inputs. These will be taken from the two lithium cells here. They're fused inside. I'll show a video of those in a second. This will then go through a 350 amp isolator. This is actually for two batteries. The bars go across both sets of terminals. So whether you turn it to there or combine, they are automatically connected. We have a 500 amp Victron shunt. And then we come into the output side. And then we're taking feeds. A little disappointed I've had to stack some of the connections, but we go to the output side. We go down through, we have the solar inputs. So this is running from the Myosol flexible panels, uh, five panels, probably going to add a sixth. So we've got a slightly better secondary controller. Through into here, we're also bringing in at the same time, we've got the alternator coming from the engine. And we've also then oddly got the lithium to back to the starter. Those will be isolated from these with a couple of relays. So when the engine is running, the alternator will charge the lipos. But when the uh, engine is not running, it will drop this relay out. It will engage this one back in again. And that means that hopefully the solar brings these batteries up. And if we leave the boat for a length of time, which we are planning to do, then eventually this will top up the uh, battery, the lead acid battery for the starter. That's obviously controlled with a two-way isolator so that we can control between having no connection, neutral and live, from the uh, lead acid battery to these starters. Number one will charge the lead back from solar. Number two will charge the LiPo and it's going to spend most of its time with both of those connected ready to go so we can isolate. All of this will be controlled through a Raspberry Pi running the Venus GX software from Victron. This will be connecting through to the inverter. We have a three kilowatt uh, multi plus two. And we've got a few other bits and pieces with these 70 mil big old cables. They will go directly to the inverter. So there should be very little voltage drop. So that's just a quick overview of, well, workbench and what I'm getting on with doing. I'll probably take some videos as to how I make up some of the crimps and some of the tools that are used in case people want to uh, give it a go. And uh, that's about it. But I just wanted to capture what I'm doing right now before it ends up on the boat and is impossible to film. Thanks a lot, guys.